Still bitter as fuck about the Eagles losing to the goddamn Cowboys last night. But I have a whole bunch of these videos planned here. And in the closing weeks here of 2014, I've been doing a number of these 2014 Archfiend Awards, for lack of a better term. And today, we are doing the 2014 Reality Check of the Year Award winner, and I'm giving it to The Hacker. Now, this is not any solo hacker per se, or one person per se. It is just the thing that has really, that should check reality, in my mind, more than anything else, is how for granted we take where our information goes, what we're doing to back up, how safe is it, how safe is it that we use a credit card here or there, just all these number of things got so exposed, and, and hacking's been going on for years. I'm not saying that hacking didn't exist until 2014, but it got to a level of, you know, we should really, really, really more than ever start really honing down on what we really want to do with our data and what services we're using from the iCloud getting hacked and, you know, the Fappening and Jennifer Lawrence's tits, ass, and vagina all over the place, along with a bunch of other celebrities, from Target having a massive corruption after Black Friday, I know it was technically 2013, but, you know, that was it broke into 2014, uh, Target having, you know, all their systems hacked or whatever, from Sony getting hacked just a couple weeks ago, and various emails and information being released. By the way, it's uh, one of the emails released was um, Bill Murray talking to executives about how he actually doesn't want this female version of the Ghostbusters to be made, but now he's doing the politically correct thing and giving it a public endorsement. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, it, it really goes to show you that it is really something that's being taken for granted. Like, if someone like Jennifer Lawrence a super popular celebrity is taking, you know, pictures of her asshole spread in front of a camera and, and flashing her tits in numerous positions and, and all this shit, that someone like that, who is, you know, as PG as it comes, doesn't overly curse in films, doesn't do any nude scenes or anything like that, if someone like her is confidently sending pictures or anything like that, now granted, she should be able to do something like that, and I'm not criticizing her for doing it, but it's just to show you how much someone like that took it for granted. That it's just going to be secure. It's going to be something that's never going to be seen other than between her and the person she sent the, uh, the pictures to. So this should be time for a reality check where we say, hey, do we seriously want to back up our data online? To have it something that, you know, the government could access at a drop of a dime if need be. I know granted, anyone could say, oh, the government will find out whatever you're doing what, as it is, blah, blah, blah. But we are at a state and time where it's like, you know, everything is pretty much electronic. Uh, we all have credit cards. Well, most of us do. We all go out shopping and, you know, Target says, hey, use that gift, use that Target card and get 5% cash back. And everyone's like, oh, wow, I want to get 5% cash back on my purchases at Target. Oh, then my information got stolen the next week. Shit. Damn. I guess that really wasn't worth the 5% cash back on the purchases at Target now, was it? Anyway. So, the hacker, and, you know, hey, I, I'm not really criticizing that the hackers or, or hacking in general. I mean, it's fucked up that people's personal information gets released and used against them, but it's things like this that should smarten up society because you have to, quote-unquote, break a few eggs to make an omelet, as they say. Um, again, it, it, it's, it's fucked up that people's personal information got released or anything was done in any sort of malicious means to anyone's information or livelihood or buying a house in someone's name and getting their social security number and shit like that. That's all fucked up. But it should also serve as a good as far as a reality check goes in that saying, hey, um, we really need to crack down on shit here. Companies need to find a way that they can't get hacked. I mean, Christ, if a big mega colossus company like Sony, like Target... Like, all these companies just getting hacked by just someone that has a lot of time on their hands, or maybe they don't, and they're just a genius that knows how to work the system and get in through the back doors and all that shit. Anyway, 
The 2014 reality check of the year is The Hacker. Now, the question is, is will 2015 learn from this? I hope not, because I want to see some more naked celebrity titties and bush, to be honest with you. <laughs> some just, you know, a violation of privacy like that of celebrities. I, I'm an asshole. Anyway, have a good day. A better tomorrow. Fucking eagles. I can't stand some of these Eagles fans that are like giggling and laughing like being oh darn it. Anyway, I, I don't want to. Philadelphia. Anyway, have a good day, guys.